Hello viewers, this is your girl woman catfish farmer. I'm here this morning to take you around my hatchery, how it looks like. You can see I have a, a tank here, all over here. This is where I normally nest my fry, fingerling, juvenile and jumbo. I have an order this morning which I have to deliver, so I, that's why I'm taking you around. These are juvenile. These are juvenile, they are, as you can see, they are, they are big. We have all the sizes. We have fry, fingerling, juvenile, and jumbo, but these are juvenile. So I'm about to take the water off and then show you how the juvenile look like. I'm taking the water out for it to come down very well so that you see the sizes of the juvenile. I know people will be wondering why I cover it with a net. I covered it with this net because of the beds, so that they will not come and be um, eating them up. So I, now I'm waiting for the water to come down so that you can actually see the sizes. Now that the water is in, you will see it, but you will not see it very well. So I have to wait till the water has been flushed out for it to come down and then I'll pour them out for you to know the sizes. I want to show you where I normally put them before I count them. I'm putting this water and then put them in it so that they will not suffocate. If I decide to put them here before counting it, they will be overcrowded here. So they are going to suffocate in it, which some in the process can even die. But I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to put it here for them to be relaxed before I bring another bowl here and count that with a water in full in it and then start counting them in it. My water is now finished, which I, I, I can show you. How it is. Have you seen how they are? All the water is finished in it. So you can you can see the sizes now. So I'm about to remove it so that I can pour them into um this um sieve and then put them, place them in the water for them to relax for some minutes before I start counting them. As you can see, I have removed it. So I'm about to pour it. I normally use this net, this uh, net with big holes to make sure the water is flushed out. So if I pour them, you see all the water coming out and I'll go and pour the fishes in the bowl, in the um, bowl, the, the one I put the water in it for them to be relaxed before I start. So I'm pouring them. They have rested enough, so I want to start with my country. So I want to show you how I go about it. I fetch it not much with a sieve. And then, because they are, their sizes are big, you can't count it. Before, if it's fingerlings, I can count it four, four. And when I get 100, I've gotten 400. But because of the sizes of this one, I have to count it one, one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I know people will be asking if I'm counting 10,000, how would I finish fast? Don't worry, that's my work. So I know how to go fast, fast. If, even if it's uh, 20,000, I know how to go about it. I will count it very fast for it to go. 31, 32, 33, 34. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So make sure you support your Ghana woman by sharing, liking, and subscribing. Make sure you send it viral to your uncles, aunties, sisters to make sure this video go viral. Thank you.
Thank you. 